I'm starting off with a white eye pencil. This is from Essence. I am using it to outline all the drawing, all the structures. And of course, you can go ahead and use your brown brow pencil like you do for most of my tutorials. And there will be overlapping lines that is completely okay. I am going and drawing the creek, I believe. And I always keep a picture for reference so that, you know, I get to understand where on my face should I put which object. And yeah, I'm just going in with all the details right now. And um, here I'm using my cupid bow for two, two hills rather than having it one. Because then in the end it is going to help me. You know, it is going to be easier to color it. I'm going and drawing in all the houses. You can have as many houses that you want. Doesn't really matter. And some grass, some bushes. <laughs> so more detailing. There's also chapel. I think the chapel is the most prominent building and the rest are all according to how you want it to be and there's a tip for you if you're doing a face painting for the very first time you're going to make mistakes and for that please prep your skin properly like have moisturizer or sunscreen anything on your face so that you know when you make mistakes it's easy to rub off otherwise the skin really really hurts when we try to rub off all the paint and all the lines yeah and i'm going and drawing with all the stars i believe these are the stars and um I'm just going to count them so that they're exactly the same number as in the pictures. Now I'm using nail paint brushes because they're extremely precise and very thin. Taking a small flat brush. I'm using the Beauty Glazed palette. This is, guys, the best, the best if you're on a low budget, you know, scale. I am going to be shading the sky blue. This process is time consuming, like very, very time consuming. Because you can see at one go, you cannot be painting a lot of it. <laughs> I chuckled there because I was painting my pimple blue. <laughs> now I'm taking the black shade from the very same palette. I'm going to be drawing. I'm like, I'm going to be sketching it off. Um, you'll see how crazy pigmented this is. Can you see that? That is just eyeshadow and it is so precise. The, the brushes are also from Amazon. You can, I, I'll put a link in the, in the description box. You can check that out. You are to enjoy the process. That is all that matters. From the same palette, I'm using the yellow shade. I'm just sketching off all these stars. Now, I had blue body paint, but there was no color payoff. So this is basically acrylic paint. <laughs> I use it for my canvas. I am going in with small strokes. This is, I think, what makes the picture so special. That is, the entire picture is painted with small strokes. And oh God, that is so beautiful so very very beautiful so yeah i'm gonna be doing that for the entire sky i'm gonna go ahead with the white paint this is a body paint and i am doing the i think this is supposed to be the wind i don't know anyway you just need to follow the original picture try to replicate it as much possible now here in the nose i am making a swirling motion that is in following the curve because I want it to look like a swirl going down with the same white paint to the second and the smaller swirl there are two main and prominent swirls in the picture so I'm going to do that again following the, the natural swirling line going in with the white paint again on this in this in the sky and I'm trying to give it an effect I don't know what effect but just an effect Again, going in with the same, same type of swirling lines. I had so much fun making this one. Yeah, I'm going to be outlining it with this is body paint again. Quite impressed. <laughs> I am quite impressed. <laughs> I am just using a very, very thin brush and black body paint to outline the creek. I'm going to have the link to all the products in the description box. You can go check that out. Like I said before, there's no right or wrong. We just need to enjoy the process. Here I'm making very, very small strokes so that it looks like, you know, it, it looks, it looks like I have strokes in it rather than just a black shading. I'm going to be using white body paint again for the star. Just making small dashes going in with the blue color um, in the cloud I guess 
for the hills and the mountain tops whatever i am using the white body paint as the base i am just darkening all of the shade again um this this kind of gives a look like all the you know there is a reflection of the stars of the light of the stars in the hills i don't know <laughs> i don't know but that is what it is i used the golden the the yellow shade from the same palette i'm using just one palette for the entire look i am touching up the lines for the hills i'm going in with the blue shade all right now this yellow and blue shade does make it look like green but we'll fix that up later again a little bit of yellow see for the shading i'm using a uh, using a flat small brush now i'm going to go ahead line border the houses this was such a nice process i love this this is the best process in the entire painting i loved it amazing how amazing oh my goodness i also wanted to put in a few windows and doors just to make it look a little more realistic and yeah shade the roof according to your wish and also the same thing goes for the bricks in the house walls i think i used red green all right i'm going ahead doing the grass now i'm using the same palette and i am just trying to make you know the background a little more dark a little darker than the sky so that it does not look the same as the sky this is supposed to be the hills and the mountains and yeah i'm just going to go ahead border the the bush again no right and wrong making small strokes just to make it look a little clumsy and i did a thick border to make it look like i have a mask on and i'm giving small white dashes so that it looks like stitches and here i'm shading just to give it a just to give it a little effect of you know uh, the shade that 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 you have on your face when you put on a mask i don't know if i'm making sense but just watch it i love that also a little bit on the nose and i'm just drawing the string <laughs> yeah yeah here's the here's the final look i i did some touch up and here's the final the final picture thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it